Hi, my name is David Mann. I'm architect and founder of MR Architecture and Decor. Welcome to my home. A lot of people accuse me of liking empty spaces, and that's true. But knowing that I had to furnish this, maybe more for my friends than for myself, I set about thinking about the decor. And the way I approached it was simply accumulating things that I truly love. The foyer opens out to this major living space, which is dining room and living room combined. I set up the living room and dining room to take best advantage of the long river views, which is the most important feature of this apartment. In the main seating area of the living room, I have two fin jewel sofas that are covered in the most impractical fabric known to man, which is silk velvet. In front of the chairs are two pieces of sculpture that are actually coffee tables as well. I love these pieces because they are real pieces of art, but they're useful. In the dining room, I started with a chandelier by Studio Drift, and it's called Fragile Future. And the reason it's called that is it's dandelions glued to LED bulbs. The dining table underneath the chandelier is something that I had made. I love the fact that the base is cylindrical and the top is completely square. Near the dining area, I have a rug on a wall, which may strike some people as funny, but I thought it was the perfect thing to put there. It's one of the few pieces of pattern that I've embraced. I love of the texture and since I don't have curtains I'm always looking for soft things that I feel comfortable with to add to the arrangement here. The kitchen is black and white for the most part. I used brown cork on the floor. The other thing that was done here is that we removed all the upper cabinets. Removing those left the kitchen feeling much more open and in this particular room the black that's used on this wall is shiny as opposed to the white, which is matte on the other side. So behind the range in the kitchen is Moroccan tile, but again, it's all black, carrying on that theme of being very strict with a black and white rule. This is the master bedroom. In here, we carried the black and white theme, and one of the fun things about this room is that the wall to my left is all black, and the TV's in the middle of it, so at night, with no lights on, we're watching movies as though we're in a theater. Probably one of the most notable things about this room is that there's identical nightstands on either side of the bed, but one side is mine, which is fairly minimal, and the other one is my partner Fritz's, which is a cacophony of interesting objects. From this room, we also have a perfect Manhattan skyline view. On summation, I hope you've enjoyed seeing my home as much as I've enjoyed showing it to you, and I hope you'll come back in five years and see how it's completely changed. Thank you very much for coming. Thanks for watching. Like what you see on the show? Well, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have so many more beautiful homes to share. How about love? Share these homes, you know?